All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to convert your video files from one type to another using VLC Media Player for free. So just go up once it's installed to the media section, and down here you'll see the option to convert slash save. You can also hit Control R. And through this particular menu, you have the option to convert videos or save videos from a file on your computer from a disc, so you can like rip the contents of a Blu-ray DVD onto your computer. You can pull stuff off the network or a capture device, like you've got like an Elgato capture card. You can grab stuff from that onto here using this. And uh, But for the most part, I'm just gonna use the file selection. So I'm gonna grab a file from in my video footage folder, which is up here at the top. I have set aside a test convert video right here. It's got some video, it's got some audio, all the things you need to convert and showcase it. So then I'll just hit convert and save. And what it's gonna say is up here at the top, this is the source video that it's gonna use and convert. Down here, I want to convert. And then I'm gonna say, it started as an MP4 file, but maybe I want to create, oh, what sounds good? An ASF file, why not? I've never really converted one of those before. And if you really wanted to, you could go into the edit select profile option here with the little wrench. And this would allow you to fine tune some of the settings. So this is the main video type that you want to create. You can create basically all these different things here. You can change the video codec that controls the video. You can adjust the resolution, the bit rate. You can add some funny filters if you want. You've got some audio codec stuff that you can change. You can change the bit rate, the sample rate, all of that. And you can even load a subtitles file and bake it directly into the video through this setting right here. But for the most part, I'm just gonna leave it at the default profile and you can see what you're going to get for a video in the little parentheses at the right side, just as kind of like an example. And then I'm gonna tell it to just save that right back in my uh, recording footage file. I'm gonna say this is the test convert output file. I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna click start. So what's going to happen is after it's done thinking for a moment, depending on what kind of video file you're converting to, that might take longer than others, you'll see that this little play bar down here at the bottom is starting to tick over like you're watching a video. That is actually your progress bar on how much of your video is already being converted. So once that gets to the other side here, it'll be done and you can go view the output. Now it's worth noting, that I've actually screwed something up already, and uh, this has nothing to do with the previous settings, so don't worry. This is actually, you see how I've got this, this little option down here in the video player ticked to loop one video repeatedly over and over and over again? If I leave this one selected, it'll actually keep trying to convert the video over and over and over again, because it kind of treats everything like a video player. Uh, just untick that so that it doesn't keep trying to overwrite the same file over and over again. I made that mistake when I was playing around with this before re-recording the new version of this video. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna cut now to when this video is done being converted. It'll go from 15 seconds or like whatever percentage it is right now to being mostly done and then I will continue from there. Okay, so we're almost done. This maybe took, I want to say, like, maybe 10-ish minutes <coughs> to do the whole record, or the... Okay, so we're just about done. It's like ticking down to the end here. This maybe took about 10-12 minutes to convert this video. It really just depends on, like, how much compression and changing the video player has to do to your original video. Things like going from MP4 that's really big to a small WebM is going to take a really long time, as a good example. But it'll eventually get there, and you can queue up multiple videos through this, I think. Uh, so let's see how it did now that it's done. So let's open up this video, and then uh, test convert output file. I can already see that there is a video there. 
And then this is humongous. So basically what this was is this was a uh, sample video that I was doing where I was recording how to do some stuff for DS4 Windows. And I did an okay job converting it, although it does look like I probably could have spent some more time fine-tuning the settings for the video quality and the bitrate because it is a little blurry in places, but it's not bad. Oh, whoa, and there is a couple of glitches here or there, but that probably can be fixed when you don't have, uh, when you don't have as many issues with the quality. Like, if I went back through... And I went to convert and save and added this file again. Let me go back and find it. Test video. And I convert and save. I'd probably need to go through here and under video codec. Bitrate's not bad. It just, this isn't a really great bitrate for quality. I'd probably go with like MPEG-4 H.265 is like the DVD version of H.264. DivX isn't bad. But what I, what I ended up going with converting into an ASF file wasn't really the best for sheer video quality, but you could kind of play around with it and see what you like. Um, but yeah, that, that on the nutshell is how you convert things quickly with VLC media player. If that doesn't work for you or it's not really giving you a good output, uh, quality wise, you might want to go look up like other ones. There's a lot of free ones out there. Some of them put in watermarks, some of them, they you know, they limit you to the amount of quality or the different kinds of videos that you can convert without being able to pay for it. Um, so, you know, your mileage may vary. Personally, I use, for most of my video converting needs, I just use the media encoder that comes with Premiere Pro. The handful of videos that I can't convert with that, I usually just go hunting for one that works for me, and if I find one, you can either get a license if you need it for work, or you can just use a free or a cheapy one, really. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. This has been How to Convert Videos with a VLC Media Player. And uh, bye, everybody, and have a good one.